Hey guys, it's Moving Lord here. I know a few days ago was the release of Marvel's Capcom 3. I hope you guys are enjoying it right now because I know I am. Now, as you see in back of me, we have Marvel's Capcom 3 playing in the back. And a few things I want to go through. I want to go to, through the unboxing of uh, Marvel's Capcom 3 Collector's Edition. That's right, I have got the Collector's Edition of Marvel's Capcom 3 and the Standard Editions because, of course, Keel Lancer and DX Strike had bought their own copies. So let's go through this, okay? What we have here, we have both standard editions of uh, Marvel's Capcom 3 and of course the collector edition that I have reserved. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I just bought Marvel's Capcom 3 for, only for the 360. I'm going to pick up the uh, PS3 version uh, pretty soon. Um, for those of you who don't know either, um, I'm going to have the gathering as well on Saturday for the Xbox 360 um, Eastern Time at uh, 8 p.m. So if you guys want to meet us there, you can meet uh, me. Uh, Moving Lord, Kill Lancer, uh, DX Strike, and our friend Kadasu. Uh, so, hope you guys, you know, be ready and prepared for that. This is DX Strikes and uh, Kill Lancers. Um, for those of you who haven't uh, bought the game yet, uh, at the midnight release right here, when you when you picked up your copy, you got these uh, pamphlets. But, um, here you have the character move sets right here of uh, Wolverine and. Also, you have Dante, Deadpool, flip them over, have both Dante and Deadpool, special uh, move sets. Uh, we have special moves right here, and uh, hyper combos, which I think is pretty neat. And then right here, you have uh, Ryu in the back. You have reused special moves and combos. And yeah, that's pretty much it with that, with the, with the pamphlets. So next we're going to dive into the collector's edition of Marvel's KCOM 3, which I, of course I reserve. Um, as you see right here, this is the cover. Like most uh, special editions, they have, they, they have covers that's, that's on top of the, uh, the actual casing itself. Marvel's KCOM 3, as you see, you see the dark um, um, ink drawings of the characters in the special edition. And in the back right here, it also shows, you know, what it looks like. Uh, you also includes two uh, download content characters of Jill and uh, Shuma Gorath, and you also get one month access to Marvel Digital Comics Unlimited. For those of you who don't know, um, on Marvel Comics, you actually read the comic books on the internet. So instead of you going out buying the hardback copies, I would you can subscribe to the description for one month. That's what it comes with. Yeah. Um, so let's just slide, open the cover. Oh wow, look at this. This I think this is pretty neat right here. Right here, you have uh, the tin case of Marvel's Capcom 3. This is why I love the special edition, you get the cool stuff. But um, yeah, you have Beautiful Joe on the front, you know, Doctor Doom. So on this side, on your right, you have all the Capcom cast, and then on your right, so on your left, you have the uh, Marvel cast, which I think is pretty neat. And here's the back of the case right here, which is more artwork. This is for, this is a good collection, especially if you guys are Marvel buffs. Look at the drawings right here and everything. So just to get, if you guys aren't gamers, just for you being a Marvel collector, I think this is pretty cool to have, even if you're not really hardcore into fighting games and stuff. But I think it's pretty neat. You have uh, Wolverine, you have Ryu in the front, which they've been advertising for so much, especially in the episode one. Of, uh, of the Marvel Capcom 3 trailer, pretty cool. And right here, it also comes with the Marvel vs. Capcom Fate of Two Worlds uh, comic book, and it's also an art book as well. I mean, for those who do read comic books, this is also like copying off or the same art design as the uh, Secret Wars. Secret Wars. For those of you who don't know what the Secret Wars comics is, if you guys are into Marvel, it was like uh, the guy named the Beyonder was putting against the Marvel heroes against the Marvel villains, which is pretty neat. It was like they was copying off the same format when they designed this uh, this comic book right here. And um, in the back, after excuse me, after hide this, it gives you the code to uh, Shoma Gorath and uh, Jill Valentine, who will be available uh, March 15, 2011. And um, and also the code right here for the free month subscription to uh, Marvel Digital Comics. 
Now, there's one thing I do have a compl I have a complaint about with the special edition is. You know, they made you believe that if you da um, when they first advertised it, they made you believe if you uh, buy a special edition, you'll be the first to access Shuma Gorath and Jill Va Valentine um, before everyone else. And then after everybody like you know reserved their copy of it, and then they finally announced that you know you'll be getting it on the same day as everyone who bought the stand who bought this you know standard edition of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So that that, that kind of like that was kind of like a big disappointment. But um, we're gonna open up the uh, book right here. As you see right here, you have you know the front is the front part of the story with uh, Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine, and it's like your typical comic book. It's pretty neat. And another thing, <laughs> it's kind of short. It's real it's real short. It's only like five, not four, like six, seven, eight pages, and then that's that's the end of the whole comic book right there. And then next we have the character art right here, which goes through the typical character art that you've seen on pretty pretty much all the advertisements in the you know the main website of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. So it's nothing you haven't, really haven't seen before at all. Those are the actual ones we have. Yeah, that's the actual picture that we used when I did my uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 exclusive. So I just flip through the pages. Really not much to really see. Then uh, campaign art. They use for advertisement, like the posters at Comic Con. They used and all the other conventions they showed. You know, they that uh, Capcom intended to um, advertise this game. And I pretty much had these as my wallpapers on my uh, desktop as well. So, and then this is pretty much like the front case of the artwork. So everything that was like pretty much advertised. And you get your promotional art right here, which I pretty much have all of these as well on my computer so there's really not much we haven't you know I haven't seen in here already so I mean the collector's edition is more so with, more so for like a gimmick but I, I like the case the case is pretty is the main reason why I got it and besides the Jill and Sean McGrath that they had us believe that we were gonna get before the game was uh, that we were gonna get before everybody else if he bought it but uh, as you open it up the game is inside the 360 because I'm playing it right now. But um, you open it up, they have the booklet right here. Open it up for those of you who don't have the game. But um, booklets, booklets aren't what they used to be. Like a long time ago, you actually go in there and get like get information. Um, one thing I did find useful in here, I didn't know how to do the uh, the X Factor, and I didn't know how to tag my. Uh, my um my partners while in the air performing air combo so that's the only thing that really helped me but everything anything else it's more so experimentation on the game you know but uh, if you guys are like into booklets and everything and like to read through them you know you got, you got some you know some good some good eye candy in here read nothing new okay and as you see right here on the case you, you got the promotional artwork that you that, that was found inside the comic book and the art book at the same time right here and uh, put this right back in here close this up right here slide this back in the sleeve a quick recap as you see here you know if you had got the standard edition for the Xbox 360 or the PS3 you would get the sleeves with the move sets of uh, Ryu, Dante, uh, Wolverine, and Deadpool with the special moves and their hyper combos. And, you know, special edition right here with the tin case and the comic book art book with the one month subscription of um, Marvel Digital Comics and the download content code for Jill, Valentine, and Shuma Gorath. Um, so, next we're going to move on. I like to show you guys, you know, the interface to Marvel vs. Capcom 3. For those of you who don't have the game or are still deciding whatever or not if you want to buy the game. So we just want to do a quick overview of the, you know, the main menu and the different options within the game. So let's, let's go check it out. <laughs> 